Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Vancouver, BC, and I have the privilege today to interview Matt Popsel from Massachusetts. Hi Matt, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Emre. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. So Matt is a struggled manager turned inspiring leader and talent optimization expert. He's the VP of the Verdict Index for the last eight years and also the godfather of talent optimization to serve as the primary architect of this new discipline that aligns people's strategy with business strategy to produce optimal business. So Matt, before we start with my first question, tell us about yourself. How are you doing these days? What's happening in your life? Yeah, doing really well, thanks. Uh, the company that I have at, the Predictive Index, I've been there for over eight years, as you pointed out, and it's really a great time. It's uh, a lot of important work being done in the space all around transitions in the workspace and seeing the rise, for example, of Generation Z coming into the workspace uh, mm -hmm. for the first time, and as well as a, a shift to remote work, lots of fun fun mm -hmm. uh, trends that we're starting to see. And we just help clients and, and prospects really understand how to uh, really optimize their workforces. And uh, we spend a lot of time at work. We want to make sure we get it right. So what are some of the trends you're seeing these days due to COVID? What happened? What shakes the marketplace? Yeah, one of the first things that happened is when the, the pandemic first hit and we started sending everyone home you yeah. know, to work safely, we yeah. started to see the first strains of change. When it was uh, team uh, dynamics changed, now people were working in very different ways. They were all adjusting. And a lot of times team charters changed. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of companies in the very first days uh, had a lot of, there was a lot of layoffs, a lot of joblessness, mm -hmm. as you yeah. as you recall. And that was a big adjustment. And so now all of a sudden people's job roles changed and the, mm -hmm. and the nature of, of, the, of the, what they were being asked to do. As things started to stabilize, we started to see, okay, this is gonna be all right. The economy yeah. started to rebound a little bit. There was still yeah. a lot of people without jobs, obviously. Mm -hmm. And that was really challenging. But then as we started to develop into, okay, how are we going to make it through this? And it has now started to, to shift into a really prolonged sort of an endurance race of sorts, right? Zoom yeah. fatigue began to set yeah. in. Things yeah. started to stabilize, but not necessarily in a great way. Mm -hmm. And only recently as we started to see vaccines become available and there's starting to be a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, yes. I see that organizations are shifting their attention now to saying, what will work look like? Yeah, There's something I like to say, which is that the, uh, the, the, the way that we work is changing, right? Yes. And the people who return to work have changed. Yeah, They've yeah, been yeah. through some things, right? Yeah. So now I think you're going to start to see certainly uh, uh, higher levels of remote work, mm -hmm. higher levels of hybrid work where I want more flexibility in my work. Yeah. You're going to see a continued uh, sort of emphasis on self-care, yeah. work-life balance, yeah. these sorts of things. Yeah. So my first question for you is, as you mentioned, there was a lot of layoffs due to COVID. And nowadays, when you put any, any new requisition, you get hundreds or maybe more resumes. So what can job seekers do to kind of shine in all these people are applying for the same job? Yeah, I think the first thing is make sure that you're applying to a job where you're a good fit. It doesn't do anyone any good if you apply to a job just because you're like, I want to have a job or maybe I want to make a change or maybe I'm not currently working. I think it's really led, uh, technology has really led to this glut of it's easier than ever to apply to a job. In the old days, if you had to type up your resume and put it into the physical mail, that really made it a lot uh, higher premium to apply for a job. And unfortunately, recruiters have have been inundated with with uh, resumes. So, you know, I, I think that's one thing. The second is do your homework. If a job is worth applying for, that means it's worth doing your homework and figuring out what is the specifics of the role of the company? How do you, uh, you know, tailor your, your CV or your resume to really speak to your capabilities to do a great job? Uh, again, if it's worth applying to the job, it's worth kind of uh, making those things match a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think those are some, some really good ones. And the last one, of course, is let your personality come through a little bit. I think yeah. a lot of times we feel like applying for a job is a very uh, formal, rigorous thing. There's obviously mm -hmm. some understandable nerves there. Yeah. But th the reality is that employers want to hire real people. And so if you're naturally yeah. a, a, an engaging kind of personality, don't, don't be shy in your resume. You know, yeah. uh, employers are willing to, to take on and they want to get to know you. Yeah. So the resume is going to be the first chance to do that. Yeah. Thank you for those great tips, Matt. And for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Matt a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So you'll be like a journey with us. 
uh, you can like all the videos, make comments, share it. I just want to give people opportunity what's out there and how they can in, in, uh, take these tips from Matt and implement in their jobs. So tune in tomorrow for another great question with Matt. Mm -hmm.